So this is the Baja Design Squadron Sport Kit. Uh, I'm gonna be installing it on my motorcycle. So this kit comes with everything you need. Uh, mounting hardware, extra connectors, uh, and actually a really good wiring harness. The only problem with this is this is made for a vehicle. So when you stretch this out, it's much too long. You can see it's got two plugs here for each lights. Uh, it's got a switch. So this will get changed to a handlebar mount switch. It comes with a relay, uh, a fused connector. So there's a couple things that I'm gonna change. First will be this relay. I'm gonna change it out to this Hella kit. This is a weather pack. So I think this will work better on the motorcycle and it comes with this good pigtail. And because this is meant for a vehicle, when you connect this to your battery, it will stay on all the time. And I want it basically to only be able to turn on when the bike is in run. And then so I can leave the switch on and I could turn my bike off and the lights will go off with it. That being said, so somebody doesn't also flick the switch, turn the lights on, or I forget to turn them off. So I'm gonna open this harness up. I'm just gonna cut it here. So with the casing off, I can see that red is our battery, positive. And then this white wire, if you follow this white wire that's hooked in with the power, this one runs into this switch. All your grounds are together. And this blue wire is the signal to turn the relay on. And this wire also goes all the way to the switch. This white wire from this switch will need to go to accessory power. And this blue wire will come from here into this. So this switch needs to get its power from a key power. And then it will go, this blue wire will run back into this to turn the signal on. Okay, so all separated. Here's my fuse power, ground, my two runs to each squadron, and this is the switch. Now this is good wiring. I like all the loom, so this looks pretty good. So I'm gonna use all of this wiring when I redo it. I'm just gonna cut it to length, um, and I will use this switch wiring, probably with this plug as well, for when this new switch comes in, which I don't have yet. So I put this layer quick legend together. Um, this is just what I took apart from this old unit, and this is how it will have to be wired. Uh, these numbers are on the bottoms of the prongs, so it indicates instead of having plus, minus, and uh, all the information on here, it's just number coded. And this is this is all available online, but this is, will be how I do this one. Okay, so I got my main power wire done. So this is soldered, and I did a heat shrink. So next I'm just gonna cut these to lengths. So these are the power and ground running to each of the Baja lights. So essentially I want, uh, I'm gonna put the plug back here and it's gonna run along here and it's gonna hook up to the battery. So this is what I came up with for length. Um, so I'll cut them both the same. And this will really depend on how long the run you want and where you wanna put the plug. But keep in mind there's 12 inches or so on the back of the light. And then these will be mounted kind of up here. So I do have a little extra there. So these are the leads for the front lights. I've got them joined here. This goes to the relay. Um, it goes to number 87. Uh, these numbers are on the bottom of the relay. You can see a, a, a diagram here. And then the power wire turned out to be with the fuse number 30. So next I'm gonna do the uh, the switch wire. I don't have the switch yet, but this will go to the handlebars. This will be about the same length because I want all the plugs in the same spot. Um, this one has a ground, so I'm gonna join this ground with these two grounds from the lights, and I'm gonna hook this ground up to the relay. Okay, so now it's starting to look like a harness. I got all my grounds hooked up. So there's switch, front light left, front light right, and then this will go to my battery ground. Here is the end for the switch. So I'm gonna do a test. I'm gonna use this one for now just to make sure everything works. And then this blue wire, I still need to hook up to the relay. 
This will go to the number 85, which is this blue. Um, this middle one won't get used. This is 87A. So, and then this is my power wire, my accessory power. So I'm gonna tap this into my USB. And then on my stock harness, it's this white wire with two red. And this uh, conveniently sits pretty much right by my battery. Um, just goes right there. So all my wire lengths will be right. So I'm gonna cut this, join my power, my accessory power, and then put this blue wire to the relay, and then I'm ready to test. All right, I'm all finished up with the wiring harness. So I'll start here. This is a USB plug, the Ducati. Uh, I went on this side of it instead of the bike harness. If I ever have to replace anything, I can just get this new piece here. Um, it's kind of kind of a pain right now, but this is pretty easy to remove and put in if I need to. The relay will be mounted really close to this. Um, here is the battery power into the relay with the, with the fuse there. There's the battery ground, and then this splits to all four grounds. I got my accessory wire, accessory power wire, and that will go to this one. I don't have the switch yet, but there's the switch that'll be on my handlebar. Um, and then here's my other lead. My other lead here goes to one light, and my other lead here goes to the light. So pretty simple overall. Um, now I just gotta do the hard part and route it. These are the fork brackets I had decided to go with. It'll fit uh, 50 or 60 mil. You can see it just kind of clamps around and it has a, a perch that I'm gonna mount the light to. At first glance, they're pretty good. They're made out of aluminum. But when you look at the mounting area, I actually thought these had come with uh, some rubber liner. So when you mount these onto the forks, uh, mine are aluminum, so it'll be aluminum on aluminum. And I don't know how well that's gonna grip um, once you cinch it down and I actually think it might scratch. So that's a little disappointing and for a lot of money. I think these were over about 109 US dollars for the pair. So that's uh, that's not cheap. So what I decided to do was I took some uh, Gorilla Tape and I just kind of cut it in thin slices and I put two strips in here. So this is just a little bit of a softer, um, softer surface for the fork. I think this will mount better. And when I cinch it down and, and I try to adjust it, it's not gonna scratch, scratch my fork. So on my bike, I undid the gas tanks. There was two here uh, and two here. Depending on what you have, it may be different. But I have a spot, after the harness is all tucked in here, I have a spot, um, looks like the fuel line comes down from the gas tank through here and there was a space here. So I'm gonna run this all the way up through here and then kind of behind my head tube, I actually have quite a bit of room for the plugs and a bit of slack of extra wire as well. So it'll work good. If I tried to run it up here, the tank actually comes really close onto this. You can see it sits sits right here. So that wouldn't work. So I'm gonna get to run all the, these three wires and then run them through here and then I'll connect them up front. Okay, here's the final product. It can turn out really well. Mounting location turned out good. Lights are all aimed. Here are the Denali brackets installed. They actually look quite clean. And this is where all my wiring is for the lights. I had this nice cover here that uh, hides everything. So that turned out good. Here is the light switch. You can see I have key on power right now. So this is lights on. And when I turn the key off, it'll kill power to everything. And there are the lights. All right, that's it for this. And thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.